Final Finger Puppet Management Presentation. The purpose of our television show is to create a way to illustrate the management topics we learned throughout the course. Our target audience was families with ages ranging from 15 to 45. Interests include humor, relatable situations, and management. Throughout the course, we learned about a wide variety of management topics. For Two Worlds, One Planet, we used a handful of these concepts to construct the show. The main topics we focused on to build the show were SWOT analysis, strategic objectives, strategic planning, mission statement, communication, operational planning, strategic management, management ethics, structured interview, and work sampling. Two Worlds, One Planet set in a foreign planet far in the future. Aliens and humans were in need of a new planet for their populations to thrive after they exhausted all of their resources on their previous planets. After much debate, both communities reluctantly decided they would need to live together as one society. After deciding to live as one, the leaders of the community and the community encountered a variety of obstacles, where a lot of the management topics come in. Between establishing a community, maintaining it, and conquering the struggles that come with both, the new world has their work cut out for them. Ellie is an energetic 15-year-old girl who loves to try and make the world around her a better place. She's always trying to make people laugh and create new friends. She usually is well-behaved, but she'll deviate from the rules if she has to, if she believes it is the right thing to do. Ellie is a natural-born leader. She's confident, intelligent, and willing to make enough tough decisions if necessary. Because of this, Ellie has a unique ability to manage her peers very well and help guide them to solve problems that may arise when making an ethical decision. Ellie tends to use the moral rights approach. Bailey is another 15-year-old girl who happens to be Ellie's best friend. While not quite as outgoing as Ellie, she still has much the same core values. She believes in using the moral rights approach when making ethical decisions and she enjoys making others happy. Because she is somewhat shy, she cannot be the leader that Ellie can, but her intelligence and kind heart help her contribute greatly to group decision making. Fred is Ellie's father, and he is truly a family man. He would do anything if it meant helping his family. He doesn't enjoy taking in charge, but he will if he has to. Fred loves stability, and he is not good at managing change. He believes that change only occurs if things have gone wrong, but he still does the best to adapt if need be because he would do anything for the well-being of his family. Leslie is Ellie's mother. She is quite a character, and she does not have good leadership or management qualities. She usually tries to stay out of issues and not to serve anybody. She hardly ever exhibits intu intuitive decision-making, and says she prefers to research and ponder a decision as much as possible. Kel is a very curious 15-year-old alien boy. He is at first confused by the humans who come in to habit his homeland, but he eventually grows to like them. He eventually ends up befriending one of them, Ellie. Because of this, he becomes a strong proponent of the humans and aliens working together. He believes that globalization between the two people will benefit them both. James is the best friend of Cal. He is not a huge fan of the humans coming to his homeland, but he doesn't care enough to let it bother him too much. He's very laid back and always joking around. He's susceptible to groupthink because he's usually too lazy to try and create new ideas of his own. Tim is Cal's father, and he does not approve of the humans in entering his homeland. His land has been free of humans his whole life, and he intends to keep it that way and thinks it's just fine, so he believes their integration will cause issues. Tim's management style with his family and with others is borderline authoritarian. He likes to lay down strict ground rules. Holly is Cal's mother. She is very different than her husband, Tim. She tends to be warm accepting while welcoming the humans to her homeland. Her main concern, however, is for her son. She was always planning and organizing for Cal. She loves him very much and wants him to be as happy and successful as possible. George is the 
designated leader of the group of humans who have decided to travel to the new planet. He is stoic, charming, and willing to lead. While he can be close-minded towards the aliens at times, he means no ill will as he is just trying to provide for his people. He serves as mostly a figurehead role to the humans. He gives them a charismatic leader to look up to, and he motivates them to do their jobs with big public speeches. He has a wife named Sally. Sal is the president of the alien people who, like George, leads him in mostly a figurehead role. However, he has men below him, such as Tim, who do most of the real leading and managing. Sal does not like the idea of the humans coming to his homeland, but he is not quite as strongly against it as Tim. He has a wife named Allie. His name is often the butt of jokes by some of the humans and even the aliens. Demonstration of Concepts in the TV Show in this episode, we use management topics such as strategic objectives, strategic planning, SWOT analysis, and mission statement. We chose these particular concepts for this episode because it is the first episode, the topic stated in the beginning something, which is exactly what the aliens and humans are trying to do, begin something and build a community. The two leaders begin forming strategic objectives and start strategic planning for the new community. They decide to create a SWOT analysis to properly determine the areas that need the most attention in the community. To begin all of this, they create a mission statement to help the community gain a clear focus of the goals. Episode 5 for Justice In this episode, we use management for topics such as unstructured interviews, structured interviews, working sample, and orientation. These topics help in building the ideal team for any group, which is exactly what George and Sal are in need of. The topics addressed will help them build the best team so they can keep their community living happily. The two leaders deciding against unstructured interviews for their prospects because this type of interview would not suffice. They decide on using structured interviews correctly judge their candidates, as well as working sample, simulations, written tests, and even orientation to weed out the ones that should not be in the justice system, as well as make sure possible members know what they're in for. General Conclusions of Management Management is used every day, whether it is a business setting or personal life. Managers need to know the basic concepts of management to be successful. And employees also use aspects of management in their positions as well. If all management concepts are executed properly, a business or team is likely to be successful in the wrong one. Course Reflection of the Group As a group, we believe that reading through the chapters and relating the variety of topics to our life experiences helped in understanding management inside and out. The different challenges were fun and engaging. They encouraged us to think deeper into the subject. Between the course videos, readings, and the challenges, no stone of management was left unturned. Project Reflection of the Group The finger puppet management portion of the course allowed the group to express the concepts learned in the readings and videos in their own way. This allowed us to further understand these concepts. We were also able to deal with some of the management topics in real life, as well as managing ourselves as a group while creating the project. Management has been an extremely enjoyable course for me. I'm a shift manager at my current job, and this course actually helped me in some aspects of improving my management skills, as well as offering new ideas and ways to do things to my general manager. It was also nice to be able to thoroughly understand certain topics and connect to my life during the writing logs. This kept me interested because the subject pertains to my life. The project was also extremely helpful in further understanding the topics. Not only in the aspect of having to show these concepts in our videos and stories, but also within the group itself, I found that we were all put in situations of managing us and each other as one in the group. I love being able to exchange ideas with people and the opportunity to see from others' points of view. Course Project Reflection by Christopher Dr. Diasio's Principles of Management class has definitely helped me learn a thing or two about the practicality and application of knowledge in the business management world. First off, working in the group 
as a part of a project really helped me develop my teamwork skills. I really had to figure out how to coordinate with my other group members and we had to put our collective skills together to reach a common goal. Also, completing a TV show really helped me help my management skills. I'm not familiar with the technical aspects of creating a TV show, so I really had to work hard and improvise in order to complete the task. I am happy about the skills I gained from completing the project with my teammates. Throughout the course, I've been able to take in a lot of information about management. How teamwork can be effective has translated to the project we've been working on the whole year. Most of the writing logs we've done have also helped me understand the course tremendously. They make you take what we've read and learned about and apply it in real life scenarios that we've already experienced and give you new looks on how you could have improved the situations. That will no doubt help me in the future while in the corporate or business world. This project really helps by forcing you into working with people you aren't comfortable with. We all didn't know each other well, and we've gotten to know each other at least a little better. All four of us have stepped up when we need to get parts of the project done. While some have stepped up more than others, we've worked as a team. Chris and Ashley both stepped up and seemed to be joint group facilitators and lead us to get everything done. We always tried to get things done a little beforehand. But even if we didn't, we never missed any deadlines. All in all, we got a group of good workers and people. Course and Prof Project Reflection by Yu Hong. This project has really helped me with my management skills. I was given tasks to do to help my teammates, and completing them required me to manage several things at once throughout the project. I have written episodes, developed characters, and communicated with my teammates. These tasks contributed to my learning and I greatly appreciate getting the chance to complete them. I thoroughly enjoyed helping make a TV show and the group aspect of the project to help my communication and teamwork skills. This class and project will help me when I eventually venture out into the management world. For future students, we suggest to stay on top of the reading and do not wait until the last minute. Don't forget about the design challenges. Keep communication open with the group and do not wait for others to approach you about things. Step up and get the ball rolling. Enjoy the project with your group. Yes, it is a project and it is work, but it is not hard and can be fun if you make it.